The planet's resources are diminishing. Every year, 1.3 billion tons of food is overproduced worldwide. So much food is being discarded despite 500 million people experiencing an acute shortage of food. Every day, 200,000 items of clothing are trashed, while branded items are incinerated. Over the last 20 years, 2 million more cars were produced than were sold globally. In conclusion, an incredible conclusion, we've reached the limits of our world and now need to expand beyond our planet, meaning economically developing other celestial bodies. Of course. Where are these foreign markets? Are they on other planets? But today this is not possible, they write. So what should we do? Imagine coming to such a conclusion. They no longer say instead, we need to stop this madness somehow. What are we doing? So I sat there and thought, oh my. We can't do anything else. How can we stop it? Stall everything? Turn off the lights? Can you imagine that? What they're saying is we've messed up here. So now we need to move to another place and there. You can't move to any place. There's nothing you can do. So what must we do, they ultimately ask. How can a person come to the right conclusion from these frightening true statistics? We have exploited this planet, sucked everything out of it and polluted it, so now we can die in peace. Are we unable to put an end to it? Over the years there were so many economists, so many proposals for change. No, there are no proposals. These are all unrealistic utopias. Nothing really to work with. If you don't change man, there's no sense in changing anything else. So there's really only one real conclusion, to change man? Yes. To make a person feel what? For one to feel what it's worth living for. And then will he stop destroying our planet? Will he stop producing so many cars, so much surplus of food only to throw it away? He will work only for what is necessary, to make necessity sufficient. Your conclusion is very simple, to change man, to get by with necessities. Yes, because we cannot change the world. In that case, my usual question, doesn't each person have their own set of necessities? It depends on their upbringing. Everyone will apply their education to themselves personally. But will it ring true in their minds and hearts? I don't need more. This is enough for me. Yes. You gotta admit, this is utopia. If this is utopia, then we will go down a different path, a path of self-destruction. Maybe you have something else, another option in mind? Only very simple self-destruction. Stop having children, stop producing anything. Stop the process. Yes, stop and begin stalling this planet. That is, if we don't make do with necessities, then it's self-destruction. There is no other way. Yes. I see. At the point of reaching necessity, does one experience happiness that he has enough and needs nothing more? Is this a good happy state? What can he replace it with? After all, his greed also knows no bounds. How to stop it? The neighbor has more. There's more here and there. It's a race, an arms race, a technology race, a race of anything. What can you do? We need to change the character of man. We cannot change his nature, but we can change the typical application of his nature. We will either come to this, or we will die. I see. That is, the I want will not change. That is, the desire that needs to be filled. This will not change. No. I have to be filled with something, right? Right. So how will this sentence conclude? I have to be filled. I have to be filled so I feel I get everything from the world at the same time and then I don't need anything else. Ah, that's an important conclusion. I will only get fully fulfilled when we mutually fill each other. There is no getting away from this. We will have to figure this out. To arrive at this state? To come to this, yes. This is beautiful. We will not be able to destroy ourselves, but bring ourselves to the realization of this need for change.